Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Lou, I post weekly beauty videos. If you like the sound of that, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And if you're already part of the fam, thank you. Ring that bell so you don't miss out on any videos. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, this is a new background, new surroundings. I know what you're thinking. What is going on, Lou? I do say I have to apologize for my absence on YouTube guys, it's been about two weeks now and I've moved, I moved house basically. Really hectic time and I was also down after moving and all this, like, it was just a whole up and go sort of situation. Anyway, I've had a refresh, re, re, um, refresh my mindset, refresh like my life and my surroundings. I'm in a really nice environment now. I'm not happier, so I'm back. Thank you guys and I'm sorry if you did log on and were like, oh my gosh, where's the video? I'm here now, thank you guys for sticking it out. Let's get into today's video. Okay, we are going through my beauty trash. So stick around, it's gonna be good. Okay, first up, I've got a product from the Body Shop. This is the Shea Shower Cream. So it's their Shea Butter range. Got this as a gift for my birthday. Only just cracked into it pretty much last month. It's amazing. Oh, this smells so good. 250 mils, I don't know how much it is. I have got backup on backup of shower products. So once I finish those, I will try and get this again. Smells amazing. It is a cream. It does foam, but it's not like too foamy. It's so luxurious, guys. It's so luxurious. It smells amazing. And you know those shower, sometimes you go in the shower with these nice products and you come out and you don't, the smell hasn't stuck around. It's just when you're in the shower, this sticks around, buddy. It stays on you. It's just, it's just really luxurious. And the fact that it's from the body shop, kudos to you guys. It smells amazing. To my friend that got this, thank you, honey. Next, I've got a product from Ren. I love Ren skincare. I've gone on and on and on about Ren. I think in every single MT's video, I have had a Ren product in there. <laughs> Most of the time, it's been the same toner. This time, it's a toner, but just a different one. So this is the Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. This is from their Radiance line. It's 250 mils. This product's amazing. Um, the packaging, it's got this airless pump, so you just press it and the product gets distributed onto your cotton pad. I used about two pumps for my face. Got AHA, so it's got willow bark, lactic acid, and azelic acid. So it really helped goods with exfoliating and, and brightening your skin. So this one, the price as well is fantastic for what you get, 250 mils of product, and it's 49 Australian, so let's say 50 bucks. So good, the packaging's fantastic. I mean, it is big and bulky, but the fact that it's just an airless pump, so you'll see there is not a drop of product in here left. You know, sometimes with products with pumps, you still have a few drops in there. If it costs you like 50 plus, $50 plus, you're like, I want every single drop of this product. So with this one, I got it all. I have already repurchased this, I'm using it. I love it, it works, it's so good. Ren is a really good, really good skincare brand that is really good price range good active ingredients and products as well and not doesn't you know doesn't dent your wallet too much so this i will say lasted me for ages on the topic of toners i've got another toner here this is the olay henriksen balance force oil control toner i know they've since brought out new ones and i do have the new ones on my list to try but this one at the time was like their big product and this was so hyped oh, the hype was real for this one honestly guys you know sometimes you just want to try stuff because of the hype so I got this in a set, this is 60 mils. I couldn't get past the smell, guys. Even now, like it's so minty because it's got their, this is part of their green range. So it has their green fusion complex. So it's got like neem seed oil. It has got salicylic acid and AHAs, but it's got a lot of these green products in there and it gives it this really weird minty smell and it does tingle a bit, but I know that means it's working, but I just found, I just didn't, I couldn't get past the smell. It didn't really do much for oil control. It did tone my face, but it didn't really help me with balancing oil control or anything like that. And again, it's in this squeezy pump delivering system. And you know, when you first get a product, it's like super hard. So you're squeezing, squeezing, like, oh crap, I've squeezed out too much. And then towards the end, you get used to it. But you know, like sometimes you'd squeeze really hard. You'd squeeze, so you had no measure for how much you're using. I think I'm just a bit used to this airless pump situation now where I can go, okay, two pumps, I've got enough, you know? So you just run out of it quickly because you're just squeezing for your life, man. You're like... <laughs> so anyway, this is a no for me. I know this works for a lot of people, but the hype was just hype for me. Moving on to something more positive. This is the Ordinary's Cold Press Virgin Marilla Oil. I love this one. I've tried the Drunk Elephant one, I've tried this one. Marula oil is marula oil, doesn't matter which brand has it, as long as it's not watered down or anything, but it's 100% marula oil. 
I love this. It comes in that UV packaging with the dropper, which is great packaging. It's about 18, 18 something. So just under 20 bucks here. You can find it in so many places now. Um, I know there was a lot of um, media backlash and a lot of like negative stuff from the company and the parent company and all this stuff. But that aside, great product. For me being oily skin, I really love Marilla Oil. My skin is so soft. My texture, it's helped a lot with my texture. My skin is super soft in the morning and it's such a fast absorption for oily skin. You still need oils, you still need moisture with oily skin. And this has been a great form of that. Love it, I have already repurchased it and using it. Love it, love it. So this is like my last step in my nighttime routine. Next I have a Drunk Elephant product. This is the Jelly Cleanser, the Best Day number nine Jelly Cleanser. Um, this I got in a Christmas set. If you watch my holiday haul, which I'll link up there, I have like a Christmas set, the prom Christmas set. And this came in it, really generous for a sample, 30 mils. And um, basically I use this as a first step cleanser on my nighttime routine. So I'd use this to take makeup off. You can use it wet, um, so you just, and I, I did like the delivery system, how you just, it's a twist lock. So you just twist, squeeze, and then twist it again. So I did like that. It's got glycerin in it, cantaloupe glycerin. What else has it got? But for me, it was super drying, really high foaming, super drying for me. And I found that it didn't actually remove most of my makeup when I went in with my toning pad. Usually there's still a bit of residue with any cleanser I use, but with this one, there was still like a lot of foundation here and there. Yeah, it just wasn't doing it for me, so. It's a no for me. If you made it this far to the video, congratulations and thank you so much. It's giveaway time. So I'm doing a secret giveaway, kind of, not really, but yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a secret giveaway um, for my 100 subscribers. Thank you so much guys for getting me to 100 subscribers. Honestly, the fact that I can sit here and talk to a camera and upload it and you guys are tuning in to watch it and thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the comments on the videos, for the encouraging comments, for the constructive criticism, for just the, just the nice comments, you know? Whether it's about the video, whether it's about me, whether it's just in general. Thank you so much, guys. It really doesn't go without notice. So, so glad, you know, what started off as um, part of a, this started off as me sort of being creative. And even though, you know, some people say it's only 100 subscribers, I always say put that many people in a room and see how you feel then and see if you still have the confidence to talk to people. You know, it's one thing to sit and talk to in front of a camera, but to have that many people in a room, honestly, is mind boggling. So thank you so much, guys, for 100. Here's to many more. And just as a small token of my appreciation, I want to do a giveaway. I got this idea of doing a secret giveaway from Caitlin Poloski. I want it to be someone who actually has watched my content and supported my content for a while and really engaging with, with my content. So that's why I'm doing it this way. I want you guys to have a chance, people that actually watch my videos, not just um, giveaway accounts or people who just go searching for those things. Wherever you are in your journey, in your makeup collection, whether you are a beginner, whether you are an avid collector, whether you just do it for fun and it's a hobby, I wanted something that I have actually spoken about on my channel that is genuine and they'll also be useful. Zoeva Caramel Melange Kit. So this comes with, I'll also be inserting um, like close ups. So this comes with the Caramel Melange Eyeshadow Palette and I already have one guys, a fan of Zoeva for a long time. I just thought this kit is perfect to give away to someone because you get the whole set. So you get the Caramel Melange Palette, you also get the Highlighter Palette and you get a matte liquid lipstick and the liner to accompany it. So it's all in those tones. So the giveaway winner will be getting this. And then they'll also, on top of that, be getting a brush, the Zoeva 227. I really wanted to give away a brush because I always go on about having tools and I know in a lot of my tutorials, I always use the same brushes. The Zoeva 227 is a great brush to start with. It's gonna accompany this set perfectly. Great quality, gorgeous, fluffy blending brush. You'll be able to use it for so many looks. And I really wanted the winner to be able to follow along with some of my tutorials and use some of the stuff that I use. How do I win this? How do I be in it to win it? All right, guys. So this giveaway is open internationally. All you have to do to be in it to win it is to be subscribed to this video and comment down below. Please also let me know how you want to be contacted. If it's Insta, put your Insta handle. If you don't mind it being YouTube, cool. Just make sure your settings are easy. You have 48 hours to respond once you are picked. This giveaway will be open for two weeks from the time this video goes up. So it gives you enough time to see it and to enter. So I will announce it on the, um, I will comment, I will jump in the comment section on this video 
and I will also contact the winner privately and I'll announce it on the latest video that is up at the time. So you have 48 hours to respond so that accounts for all the time zone differences and things like that. So good luck to you all and good luck to the winner. And thank you again so much guys for 100. I really don't take that number lightly at all. I really appreciate you guys tuning into my content. So thank you guys and we will resume normal scheduling. In keeping with Junk Elephant, I've got the La La Retro Whip Cream. Now, unfortunately the mini doesn't come with their nice little system where you've got the airless pump as well. With the big size of this moisturizer, there is an airless pump so you just press and it produces a little, the right amount of moisturizer you need to use. For me, this just didn't work. It was too heavy for my oily skin. Um, it was just too rich. It just didn't sink in. It had like a greasy residue and I did break out quite a bit with it. So I think it was just too much for my skin. So I think if you are dry skin, you probably will appreciate this a lot more. So yeah, I'll just stick with Behydra, to be honest. This just didn't do it for me. And I've got this one from Dr. Dennis Gross. This is from their Hyaluronic Marine range, the blue range they have, and it's the oil-free moisture cushion. Now, compared to the La La Whip, this one is still a cream, but it's a lot lighter and it's... It's just lighter, it really sinks in quickly, absorbed into my skin quickly. It was it just wasn't so heavy and rich, you know. My skin liked this compared to the previous one. This one was also, this also 30 mils. How many mils was this? This is 15 mils. How much was this for a tester? 15. So there's the same amount of product. But yeah, my skin preferred this a lot more. But um, in terms of moisturizer, I have my eyes set on the Clinique Create Your ID system. I've already tried their, clear, their moisturizer. I want to go back to that one because I love that one so much. For me, the oil-free moisture cushion was lovely, nice and light, fast lip, fast absorbed. My skin responded so much better to it compared to Lala, but I just wasn't wild enough to, to go and buy a full size. Next, we have another frequent flyer that makes an appearance every MT's video. <laughs> this is the Mecca to Save Face Sunscreen and it is SPF 50. It's always the one I buy. Sunscreen is so vital. Regardless of whether it's hot outside, it's cold outside, UV rays are damaging to all skin types, all skin tones as well. I know a lot of people feel like they don't think they need to wear sunscreen because of their skin tone. Some people do, but you do. This one is dark skin friendly as well. It does not um, give you that ashy cast, doesn't leave that blue sort of tint sometimes that sunscreens leave. And I feel like you can never apply too much. It sinks in quite nicely. I wear this under my makeup. It's been fantastic so i always buy this one this is the travel size version you can even use this as a moisturizer sometimes when i've run out of moisturizer and i haven't gone and bought my new one yet i'll just use this i have already repurchased but i've bought the bigger size finally i know round of applause please hold for applause thank you very much <laughs> please mecca please don't change the formula of this please don't ever change the formula of this because i love it thank you speaking of mecca i have another mecca product so this is the lip delicious lip protectant it has spf 25 so i love it for that comes in a nice jar it's really luxurious comes in a jar which i mean it's unfortunate for a lip balm but it it is what it is completely used every single drop of this i love it i'm ready on my second tub they have brought this out in like lipstick formula like form so it's a lip balm but just in like a stick and i do want to try that out but this one smooth soft lips not too heavy and thick some balms you try and they like take your lips off when you're putting them on sinks in really fast lovely leaves my lips nice and soft okay next we have a an expensive and more expensive skincare item this is from tata harper this is the clarifying cleanser this is for blemish prone skin and they say 100 percent natural and non-toxic and you can tell with these products man the scent in this thing was single-handedly one of the most contributing factors to putting me off this cleanser. I did finish it because it cost me a lot of money. The scent for me was a no deal. The packaging, it does look nice on your vanity and in there and in your bathroom, wherever you put it. But practically wise, like having glass packaging for skincare, I think is a bit, you know, yes, it can be recycled. But the fact that, you know, if you drop this, you're going to injure yourself. <laughs> When you're pumping it, it leaves residue. You might be able to see it around the pump there, but you can see all the green residue here. And it just sticks there and it clogs the pump, basically. So you end up with a big plug of product and you have to like remove the plug of product before you can use it. So after a while, the product builds up around the pump, so that was annoying. But in terms of my skin, like it was a nice cleanser for my skin. It did balance my skin quite well. It did help with blemishes. The smell was just horrible because of the ingredients. 
I do appreciate that she didn't mask it with a fragrance, but for me, the smell was just really bad. Like it was minty. And I felt like when I did get close to my eye area, like not even touching my eye, but just like maybe around my under eyes around here, it tingled and it like, it felt like, you know, when you have a mint, but like on your skin, it just, it wasn't pleasant for me. So maybe I'm using the wrong range. This cleanser is a dry cleanser. This wasn't working for me in my routine. And when I cleanse my face, especially for example, in the mornings, I do it in the shower. I just go, I have my shower and I wash my face with my, with my, my facial cleanser. Um, wash my face and have my shower. At night time is the only time where I would maybe use a dry cleanser because I'd usually be taking off, you know, when I come back, take off my makeup, with an oil that you use dry, then you wet it, you wash your face with it. This one, it's a dry cleanser. So I ran into a problem in the mornings because I would have to try and remember to not wet my hands and wash my face, or I'd have to do it before I get in the shower. And it just, it got too like, it was just too much thinking for the morning, you know? <laughs> I just wanna wash my face and just get on with my day. So it's just become really difficult. It got to a point where I would just use it wet. It's like too high maintenance. Like you're already expensive. Why are you making me do these things? You know? So yeah, for me, that was just, it just wasn't practical for me. I prefer cleansers I can use with wet hands basically. So yeah, so for me, it's not getting repurchased. In terms of what it did for my skin, it was nice, but I felt like the inconveniences of the product and the price point made it like not, not really a candidate for repurchase. <laughs> so that's my beautiful box of empties. This time, pretty much all skincare stuff, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, sorry for the absence. There was a lot going on and I just needed to take that break, but I'm back. I'm pumped, ready to make more content for you guys. On your way out, consider hitting that subscribe button down below and ringing the bell so you don't miss out on any videos. And if you enjoyed it, also give it a thumbs up. It really helps when deciding on what content to make for you guys. I can't wait to see you back here again, guys. Thank you. Bye. You know? Do you mind? It's just a bunch of people revving their cars up and down. What's new? <laughs> if you're not already, I'd love... You.